we're looking at uh, safety performances and technology and innovation for Sinaiz. Um, we looked at the, the bottlenecks that was presented for us um, here at, um, at the Finan Hummer. And we, we realized that we really had to look at better efficiencies that we can get out of um, our underground mine as far as production is concerned. Um, we've been working with RCT now for a couple of years um, on our mines at Sinaiz. And we looked at um, possible opportunities within um, what we've got um, for technology uh, and where we can go further on making sure that people are safer, um, more productive and taking that to the next level. So me and my team sat down and we had a look at what we could do and um, one of the um, things that just came up was talking to ICT and looking at what we can do together on making sure we get more efficient, safer production out of the and Hamlet. With the introduction of surface remoting, um, we were at the point where we could actually remote from surface during firing times uh, where people were not in harm's way and a safe environment where when you did your firings, we essentially took the, the time that we could not use uh, for the operators to be on the ground, that they would sit in a cabin on surface and essentially still keep emoting um, during firing times and shift changeover times. Uh, we saw a, a good increase in production, uh, safety, um, and then also with that also leading the bottleneck for remote loading was not there anymore. For, for us moving forward, uh, at the point of time, we looked at um, going to fully guidance, which we did. And the next step for us was to go from um, guidance operations. So not a line of sight. The operators are actually sitting in a cabin, um, doing remoting in, in a cabin, in a safe area, um, to the point where we looked at as well as the surface remoting and what the next steps would look like. Um, for us, when we went over to guidance, we also saw an increase in production. Um, and then obviously the safety aspects that, that, that was coupled with it was removing the operator from, from the underground environment. With um, surface remoting, um, we also found that at the start of the shift, we did not have any downtime on our trucks. Uh, there were stockpiles already um, ready to go for the gas. Uh, so productivity uh, from the trucking point of view was also um, increased immensely. We are looking at the next steps with RCT is to go on to the point-to-point -point contact where the operator essentially sits in the cabin, activates a, a, a button, and then the loader then will run from the stockpile into the stoke. The operator will take control. He will start loading, load, load the bucket, and essentially operate the system. I'll press the button again, and then the loader will, on its own, autonomously, on guidance, then run back to the stockpile. Um, with doing that, we would anticipate that we're going to see an increase in speed um, around the corners. Um, and then essentially then uh, a better, more efficient operation uh, for the underground. So at the moment we're currently operating with one operator on surface uh, with a loader underground. Uh, the next steps for us would be with RCT working together is to have one loader operator on surface remoting two loaders underground from two different levels. We will see an increased benefit in safety, productivity and delivery for our gold mine. We look forward to working with RCT on this and we know we're going to take this from strength to strength.